everyone, I'd like to show you how to post a blog for the week one assignment. First thing I'll do is go to eCampus and I've already logged in so you can see the list of courses that I'm affiliated with just as when you log in you see the list of courses that that you're enrolled in. Uh, we're going to be looking at IDT 650 Multimedia Learning. Now when I log in, I, I look for the confirmation up top that I'm in the right class, IDT 650 Multimedia Learning. First thing I'm going to do is switch to the uh, student view. This way what you see as I record this screen capture video will look much more like what you'll actually see. I'm going to go to the course content folder and this is where all of the weekly activities will be posted. So I'll go to week one. The week one assignment um, has two parts to it. Um, you've also done your self-introduction, um, which is really important for us to get to know you. But this is where um, you're doing your assignment part one, reading chapter one, and also assignment part two, which is putting together a very short five to seven slide PowerPoint comparing two different types of multimedia. This um, sheet that you're looking at right now is a basic style sheet that I will use to post your weekly assignments. What's good about this for you is that there'll be a regular format that you can look for where you can see the due dates, you can see the theme for the week, which this week is what is multimedia learning. Um, you can see in terms of the sequence, this is week one. Um, on all these sheets I'll be talking about how does this tie with the learning outcomes for the course. This activity ties with learning outcome two, evaluate emerging web-based applications for instructional design and development of multimedia instruction because you're going to be looking at some sample applications to uh, use as examples for the questions posed for the Explore Multimedia assignment. And also your readings will be also addressing this topic. Now objectives for this question for this lesson are learn about and discuss prevailing multimedia design theories and areas of current research and objective two experience explore apply and evaluate multimedia principles because some of the questions that you'll reflect on based on your reading of chapter one ask you to what you think about some of the multimedia principles that are presented Another category that I'm including each week is to just make visible what I'm doing to help make the presentation of the assignment accessible, um, meeting accessibility standards. So in this case, it's presented in a style sheet that is formatted text so that it is hierarchically organized and easy to follow by a screen reader software. I also wanted to point out to you that the guiding questions presented here, you do not have to answer them all, but I want you to read them. These are to help you as you go through uh, chapter one to think about what's in the reading and how will this be helpful to you as a designer. Design st this class is really an introductory class where you learn theories, see how it's applied in principles of practice, and then have a chance to apply them yourselves in a project. So w one of the principles that we'll be learning about is having some questions that you're thinking about when you're reading something helps you get a lot more out of the reading. So we're going to scroll back up to the top because the main question asked was, how do you post a blog? So we want to scroll back up to the top. Click on the link that's provided. 
this takes you to an area where in eCampus um, I put together a blog and then all the students in this class have a chance to create a blog entry in response to the topic of the week. So in this case I've already created a sample blog. Here you can see I just reposted what the assignment was here so you didn't have to go back to look at it again. It's for your convenience. And then the sample blog, I wanted to make sure that you saw that when you post your sample blog, it will show you as the author, it will show when it was posted, and you also have the chance to go back in and edit it. If you did your first entry and you go back later and you want to delete it, you can. And you can also edit it. So I'm going to go in and edit this blog. You can see there's nothing in it right now. I wanted to just say that these tools should be very familiar to you. Um, they're similar to some of the tools you have accessible to you in the discussion area. If you already have some blogs on the web, these are fairly standard design tools that you have available when you create your blog. You can add a file, you can add images, you can add a movie, you can format your images, um, you can create your text layout, you can incorporate tables, change the color of things, cut and paste. Also, if you're someone who would like to work in an HTML mode, you can also switch to that mode. And I'm going to show you something here. Um, I created a sample blog page in text edit and I'm going to copy the code that I put on that page and I'm going to paste it in here in the sample blog. And there it is and I'm going to update it and I'm going to see what it looks like you can scroll down here and see what it looks like. Yes, it does have the image I put in there. It includes the formatting I had laid out. The other thing that you can do is do some of your coding in HTML and then uh, refine it using the tools that are here. So you've got a, a lot of capability and this is a good practice area because these are not public blogs. So I wanted to introduce you to this. Once we've done this, I'm going to post my entry you saw I had a sample before, I made edits, I posted it, now my sample is there. And I'm also going to show you that I can scroll up and if, if there's something I found that perhaps I had a typo, your blogs are going to be linearly after the uh, original blog, just like their comments, but their full blog postings. I can continue to edit it or I can delete it. So this gives you an overview of how to post a blog. And I hope this is helpful to you. If you have more questions, let me know.